Okay, so um, let's now consider, we just got through um, talking about the sort of general introduction to unbound states. Let's now consider a very particular uh, case, a particular potential called the step potential. The step potential is shown um, in a general way over here on the right. Uh, the value, uh, so we basically uh, impose, we basically set up the geometry such that we have a discontinuous uh, increase in the potential energy um, from zero to a value u naught at x equals zero. And so uh, the um, the uh, uh, potential energy is zero uh, when x is less than zero, and it's u naught when x is greater than zero and it basically extends uh, forever, okay, in this manner, okay. So you see this sort of fits our description, our kind of our, our uh, um, w when we were talking about um, uh, unbound states, I mean bound states, if you remember we were talking about um, uh, states for which the potential uh, energy, uh, so for which the energy uh, of the particle was less than the potential energy um, uh, whenever uh, you were, at, in some large, in some basically, it always, there was always a region where the uh, potential energy was, where the energy, total energy of the particle, total mechanical energy was less than some uh, potential energy. Here though we have this whole half space, x is less than zero, where the energy is going to be greater than the potential energy, okay? Total energy of the particle. So we have our total, the total mechanical, uh, let, let's think about a beam coming from the left, that is uh, coming from x is less than zero, and we have um, the, the total mechanical energy of, uh, of a particle in the beam is equal to, E is equal to the kinetic energy plus potential energy. Again, this is the mechanical energy, so we're not considering the internal energy associated with the rest mass. Okay. Um, so in classical mechanics, if we consider the region here where the uh, uh, where the potential energy is zero, then we would just have uh, that the kinetic energy is equal to the total energy, and so the velocity. Uh, so we have one half mv squared is equal to the total energy, and so the velocity is equal to uh, square root of two e over m. And so if we have particles that have a, um, in, in this case with potential energies, I mean with total energies uh, less than um, than the step potential, so for total energies like this. Okay, so if we have a particle coming in from the left with a, a total mechanical energy, that is a kinetic energy, um, uh, that's uh, that's somehow less that's less than the uh, than the step height. Then cl classical mechanics says that it will it doesn't have enough energy to get over that potential. So this discontinuous change in the potential energy, if you remember, the force is equal to minus du dx. And so this discontinuous change um, says even if we made it <coughs> uh, increase a little bit gradually, but sharp, but but not discontinuously, there's a force in the negative x direction because the potential is going from, uh, is going to a higher value. And so that force is going to reflect the particle. Uh, it's going to turn out the particle. Particles will bounce off this potential step and they'll move uh, to the left then with the same speed that they came in with. On the other hand, um, for in the classical, in the classical case, if we have a, a um, uh, total mechanical energy that's greater than than the uh, step, oops, than the step potential, potential height I should say, um, then this particle would proceed, it has enough energy to get over this potential barrier, but it would just slow down and so its velocity would now be, after it passes the, the potential to the right, would be square root of 2e minus u naught over m.